Tonight, the city kicked off the holiday weekend with a summer celebration, taking back the block in Humboldt Park, showing residents the resources that are available to them. WDN's Jenna Barnes is live with that story. Jenna. Hi, Micah and Ray. The city kicking off Labor Day weekend with a block party that comes with a mission to reduce gun violence and make Humboldt Park safer. The fun games and delicious food may be the draw. Ten-year-old Caitlin Vasquez sure has her favorite. The snow cones. But her great-grandmother brought her to this block party with a dream for Caitlin's future. Able to buy a house, stay in her community, um, you know, and of course accept everybody and, and be a good neighbor. That's why she listened as Mayor Brandon Johnson celebrated the work of his Take Back the Block initiative. It's visited many neighborhoods in the city this summer. And Friday at Spalding and Lemoyne, it connected Humboldt Park neighbors with city services and resources with the goal of reducing and preventing violence. Systems of failures have been the prevailing form of governance for too long in this city. And that's why it's incumbent upon all of us to recognize that whether you are a high school principal, students at low elementary school, the police department, the fire department, the community-based organizations, our religious organizations, it is going to take all of us. Alder person Jesse Fuentes grew up just a block and a half from here. And we want families to know the government at all times is willing to show up and show out for them. And let them know about the community-based organizations ready to help. Behavioral health, mental health, restorative justice, violence prevention. April Curtis works with kids in Chicago public schools and out in the communities. She grew up across the street. Being able to say, hey, this community belongs to us. It belongs to our young people. It belongs to our elders. It belongs to our families. And we're going to continue to be here and we're going to continue to come out and do programming. And so our community can feel safe. Just look around for a second. Doesn't it feel good to know that you are not alone? Working together, Diana Vasquez believes they can make a difference for her family. So we do need a whole neighborhood, okay, to fix the problem. It's one person cannot fix it. And the mayor's office tells us they're planning one more Take Back the Block event of the summer next week. We're live tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News. Thank you, Jenna.